previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. And here we stopped. Welcome back to Life is Strange, Episode 4, Dark Room. The whale is dead, I assume. One, two, three, four, five, six, at least six. Nobody is there anymore. Chloe is in a wheelchair, like right there. It's Weird, hanging out with you again. I know. I I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Rachel still disappeared? Um... You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. And what will we do now? Turn back the time again and reverse everything so she's all right again and her dad is dead and it would probably be the best thing in my opinion but I doubt it will happen let's continue our search for Rachel what about Kate and Nathan and all the others pretty high tech lair feels like a high tech cell but i am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me i know it's hard for them they're grateful you are here with them right especially when they can't even take a walk alone sometimes i act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me pathetic i know chloe you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, 
Can you can you bring me some water? Sure. Make a wish. This looks familiar with that star. Yeah. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. This strange thing which is stuck in her throat looks super weird. I I imagine it very not painful but very awkward and not nice. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? First that let's investigate. No more well. bombs for her. She doesn't There's need the this. Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. That's cool, isn't it's it? It's so great people get this high-tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. <laughs> that is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Yay, cat videos. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Black flag. Mm -hmm. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. <clears throat> Bad Max. So cool that you're here again. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see a smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Was there more? It's nice yes. my parents sent a card at least. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Now that I am here for you, if you need anything, I hope you feel better, and I hope to see you again. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want to that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but will, that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. Very sure cute. That feel great. Snow globes are taking over. Snow globes? With a whale or a dolphin? Oh, the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. And a skateboard. Hello, Chloe. What's she likes this? fluffy animals now. The teddy bear is cute. But what the fuck is this sausage? <laughs> Snow dough. Um. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and? Think about her childhood. She can't even feel the grass now. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I see. That's very grave. Um. So many messages. Nathan. In the dark room. Sweet. Okay. 
I seem to be friends with Nathan somehow. Uh, writing homework, I told you I have. We are friends with Victoria. Um, friends with Taylor. <laughs> so many things. Um, yeah, I try to keep my plant alive and Chloe. Okay, no, I wanted to look. I have to get a picture of a window. But I can't open this one. Okay then. Let's give her some water. And instead of handing yes, Chloe yes, a bomb, yes, yes. I'm feeding her water. You don't need a bomb. Did I give her a choice? So cool. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Pirates. Now I want to play Assassin's Creed Black Flag again. Which I will do in about half an hour. Probably, maybe, hopefully. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal Who with me. Who is Dr. Bill? They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. Sure. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. 
Okay, so let's end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will make sure to... Um... Will I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will try to upload every day. Not necessarily Life is Strange, but also Bioshock, since it is still not finished or not even near the end. I guess I don't know. <sighs> Only in the second area. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I know. I'm glad you think so. Yep. I am awesome. I know that. So thanks for watching and see you next time.